What's up, Internet? It's Iron Andy here, and today I want to talk to you about the Razer Kishi controller for your Android smartphone device. It's a really cool product, so let's dive into it. With the changing landscape of gaming comes the need for new hardware. The Razer Kishi Pro is a device that will transform your Android or iPhone into a cloud gaming controller. Priced at $99, this device offers ultra-low latency gameplay, an ergonomic design, and support for cloud gaming wherever you are. This video is in no way sponsored by Xbox or Razer. So these opinions are going to be my own opinions. The one thing that really excites me when I pick up an item is its packaging. Razer is very universal across the board. They use their black with slight green accents. So you can basically spot this like a mile away. All right, let's go ahead and cut into the device. And remember kids, scissors can be your best friend or your worst enemy. Don't poke your eye out. Another thing I really, really, really like about packaging is when companies tend to be more minimalistic without sacrificing the integrity of the protection of the product. I will say that first off, these little foam pieces to protect the device show me like how important they think the device is. Um, and also, here it is, the device, very minimalistic packaging, Iron Andy approved. Now, inside of here, they include a 14-day trial to Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. Why am I holding it weird? Because I don't want you guys to have my number. That's my number. I paid for it. Inside of the box, besides the Game Pass, is the instruction manual, which I'm not going to read, probably, unless I get super frustrated or something. Um, and stickers, because I'm in fourth grade and I need stickers. It has these two little toggle ports here that pop out the back. Oh no, it's broken! No, it's meant to do that. It's stretchy, like a Stretch Armstrong. And if you don't know what that is, then that makes me feel old. It feels like it's gonna be able to accommodate most phones. And today, I'm gonna be using my daily driver phone, the Google Pixel 3 XL, which is a very large phone. Upon trying, I can't quite slip it in with this uh, silicone cover that I have on the back of my phone. So I guess it's got to go bye-bye. Sorry, Jake the dog. I mean, you're still there, but whatever. All right, so we're going to go ahead and slide this into the device on the top. Stretch it, put it in on the bottom. There it is. I will say it does feel like a Nintendo Switch, but a lot lighter than at least the, the regular Nintendo Switch, not the Nintendo Switch Lite. As far as flexing goes, I get a little bit of flex here, just a little, but I'm not going to be doing that with the controller, so this way I'm not really getting too much, so that's good. They have other devices where if you have a regular, this is not an Xbox controller, but this is a prop I will be using. Um, and I almost bought one and I was gonna get it if I couldn't find the device I was looking for. Uh, it's a clamp that'll go on the back of your controller and then your cell phone sits right here and you use that as a monitor. But the thing that most people say about that uh, method is that your controller ends up drooping a little bit because of the weight um, on uh, of the phone pulling down. Let's talk about the controls because that's what you guys care about. Off the bat, first thing I gravitate to is the thumbsticks. Very clicky. Uh, they feel very smooth. They feel beefy. They feel just like I would expect from an Xbox controller. I like it. It's good. You know, they don't feel awkward or, or weird. Moving on to the D-pad. I mean, it's a D-pad. It's there. It's not great. It's not awful. It's a mobile phone controller. It's decent for what it is. So, not bad. Um, you've got the Xbox button here on the bottom. Let's check out these bumpers. 
Okay, so the bumpers feel pretty good. Um, there's there's a weight to them a little bit, and there's a little bit of like a, it feels. It's not quite a click. It does what it should do. Here's the problem that most people have with it. L2 and R2 aren't that great. There's no click to them. There's no, they feel kind of loose, not super loose, but it's, it's, it's noisy. And one of the big reasons why I wanted to get this device is so I can play my PC games in bed while my wife sleeps. This is some, one area that Razer could really improve on is the triggers. The A, B, X, Y buttons feel good. And notice here that it has activated my screen while I've pushed it. I haven't done any kind of pairing or anything like that. And that is the benefit to this controller. This uses USB-C directly to connect to your phone. So when you're doing cloud gaming you're, and you're using a Bluetooth controller, you're going to get latency. You're going to reduce that latency drastically by having the input connected directly to the phone. With cloud gaming, you still will experience some lag and latency, but this is definitely gonna make it a little bit less. You might not notice, but it's there. There's no batteries required for this controller. And the other great thing is, since it uses your battery power from your phone, you know, your phone might drain a little bit. So they've included a USB-C pass-through port right there for you to actually plug your phone in and you can charge your phone while you're playing your device. All in all, the, the feel of the controller, the how solid it is, I'm very happy with it. My one gripe is these triggers, but that's okay. Game Pass is running on here pretty good. I do like using the D-pad for selecting through stuff uh, a little bit more. It doesn't feel that bad, all things considered. Uh, let's jump into something like Battle Toads. Let's try that out. Feels very good, not too laggy at all. Um, I will say that I did try using the game with my Xbox controller to the phone via Bluetooth, and there was a slight lag, and it was, it was you know kind of noticeable. We'll see how that gets in uh, when I get into the actual fighting of it. Feels pretty good so far. I'm really just I'm not getting that lag that I got with the Xbox controller hooked up via Bluetooth. So I think that is gonna be your best selling point here. You're not gonna be getting that latency. I am very impressed what they've been able to do with the cloud gaming, and it's making me think that things like Stadia, you know, are kind of the way of the future. Also, please don't make fun of me for how terrible I am at this game. Now, a lot of people would say that these streaming methods are gonna have latency and it's not for the pro gaming community. I don't think that's what it's marketed towards. I think it's marketed towards people who don't want to constantly be buying new consoles and things like that. But the most important thing is these controls are working pretty good. The only thing that I don't like so much is the R2L2 buttons, but I'm starting to kind of accept that and it's not that big of a deal to me anymore. I do like the fact that you get half of a month of free Ultimate Game Pass. Right now you can get game pass for one dollar for the first month and the ultimate version which allows you to use your phone in this device is $14.99 a month I believe let's go ahead and check it out how it works with other services like Steam Link there we go so Steam Link works great and as you can see it is definitely connected um, I do like the fact that once I plugged it in it did say that it is connected to the Razer Kishi um, again, I had to do no setup whatsoever for this, so very good. Let's play Fall Guys real fast. I'm gonna get knocked out real quick. I am terrible at this game. Yes, woohoo, you little man. Oh, put me at the front, eh? Yep, try to stay towards the center. How am I doing as good as I'm doing? Not anymore, obviously. I am actually not doing awful until I fell off. Hey, look at me. I'm not going to qualify. Nope. There was no way I was going to make it. This works really well inside a Steam Link. From the aspect of being able to use this across several different programs, 
this controller has got it. It's got it down. I don't have to do any kind of selecting um, in the options to set up this controller. It's just good to go, my dude. It actually works. That's the thing. The device works. Let me know what you think. Do you own a Razer Kishi? Let me know in the comments how you felt after the first few months or if you have a different type of controller that does kind of the same thing or similar thing. I'd love to hear about it at the comments. Check me out on Twitter at IronAndyMK85. Make sure you click subscribe and click the little bell so you get alerts as to when new videos come out on my channel. Thanks for watching and remember, I love you 3000.